Welcome. In this tutorial I will demonstrate the principles of how to create this cartoon style eye animation using object constraints to animate the objects. Additional Blender tutorials are available within our playlists. We will start by modeling a basic eye. Select the cube and lamp, then push the X key to delete them. Add a UV sphere by clicking on the Add menu. Mesh. UV sphere. Open the Add Object Options panel. Increase the number of rings to 32. Then a rotation of 90 on the X axis. Apply the rotation by clicking on the Object menu. Apply. Rotation. Right mouse click on the UV sphere, and select Shade Smooth. Push number pad 1 to go into front view. We will now add some colors to the different parts of the eye. Click on the viewport shading button. Push the tab key to enter edit mode. Click on the Materials Properties icon. Then the New Material button. Leave the base color white and adjust the roughness to about 0.2 to make the surface more reflective. Click on the Face Select button. Double tap the A button so everything is unselected. We will now use Circle Select to select the iris of the eye. Press the C button for Circle Select. Place the Circle Selection over the sphere. Scroll with the mouse wheel to resize the selection area. Left mouse click to select the area. Then right mouse click to exit circle select mode. Add a new material slot. Then click the new material button. Adjust the base color to a color of your choice. Then adjust the roughness to point 0.2. Click on the Assign button to add the material to the selected faces. Unselect the faces by pushing the A button, then pushing the A button twice to unselect all faces. We will create the center pupil area of the eye. Press the C button to enter Circle Select mode. Resize the selection area with the mouse wheel. Then select the two inner rings of the sphere. Right mouse click to exit circle select mode. Duplicate the selected faces by holding the shift key and press D. Press enter to exit duplication mode. Move into side view by pressing 3 on the number pad. So we don't have a double face we will move the selection slightly to the left. Press the G key to grab, then Y to lock to the Y axis. Move the selection a small amount to the left. It needs to be enough, so we don't have overlapping geometry, but not too far to be visible. Add a material slot by clicking on the plus button in the materials properties panel. Then click the new material button. 
Make the base color black and the roughness point too. Click the assign button to assign the material to the selected faces. Press the P key and then click selection. This will separate the pupil into its own object. Push the tab key to enter object mode. As the origin of the pupil will be in the middle of the eye. We need to reset it to the middle of the pupil. Left click on the pupil to select it. From the object menu select origin. Then origin to geometry. The pupil will now be parented to the main eye. This is so the pupil will rotate with the eye during the animation. Hold the shift key and click on the sphere so both objects are selected. If you need to select both objects, the sphere needs to be selected second. Hold the control key and press P. Then click on parent to object. With the objects selected, hold the shift key and press D to duplicate them. Press the X key to lock to the X axis and move the new objects to the right. For this demonstration I will not use an exact distance. The objects can be renamed in the outline of for easy identification. We will now animate the left eye and use objects constraints. So the right eye matches the movement of the left. With the right eye selected, click on the Object Constraints icon. Select Copy Rotation from the Add Object Constraints drop-down menu. Use the eyedropper to select the left eye as the target object. When we rotate the left eye, the right eye rotates with the left. Click on the right pupil to select it. Select Copy Scale from the Add Object Constraints drop-down menu. Use the eyedropper to select the left pupil as the target object. When we scale the left pupil, the right pupil is also scaled. I will now demonstrate how to create a basic animation. Drag the timeline window up if needed. Make sure the timeline is at the start. Click on the left eye to select it. Press the I key to insert a keyframe. Then select rotation. This will record the starting position of the eye. Move the timeline forward to the next keyframe position. Make sure the mouse pointer is in the main 3D window and the eye is selected. Push the R key to rotate the eye. Rotate the eye with the mouse to a new position. Push the I key to insert a new keyframe and select rotation. We will now animate the pupil. Click on the left pupil to select it. Move the timeline back to the start. 
We will be animating the scale of the pupil. Press the I key to insert a keyframe. Then select scale. Move the timeline to a new position. Make sure the mouse pointer is in the main 3D window and press S to scale. Rescale the pupil with the mouse. Press the I key to insert a keyframe and select scale. Additional keyframes can be added by moving the timeline and repeating the process of inserting keyframes. There are several different types of animation interpolation modes in Blender. Linear and Bezier are two commonly used modes. Linear runs the animation at a constant speed. Bezier starts slow, then speeds up and slows down at the end. The default animation interpolation mode can be changed from the Preferences menu. Click on the Edit menu, then Preferences, Animation. To select an interpolation mode, move the mouse into the timeline window. The A key can then be used to select or deselect all keyframes for the selected objects. Press the T key to open the interpolation menu. I will use Bazaar for this animation. As the last keyframe is at frame 100, I will set the animation length to 100 frames. Press the space bar to run the animation. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Click the like button and subscribe to this channel for more tutorials.